Hi everyone. Traditional casting is a great way to replicate objects and has been done for centuries. There are many different types of casting, with the most common being sand casting. Metal casting is done by heating the metal until it is molten and then pouring it into a mold. The mold can be made of many different materials, but many use sand casting, which is normally sand and some perlite mixture, or by using a process called investment casting, which generally uses plaster of Paris. Investment casting has grown popular with the 3D printing community, since 3D printed parts can easily be burnt out of the plaster mold to leave the negative for your pour. In either case, once the metal has cooled and solidified, the mold can be broken to reveal the casting. This introduces a few problems though. For one, molten metal can be dangerous if the right precautions aren't taken. Oftentimes, these molds are also only single use. Lastly, it can be tricky to get your mold created, and there are countless things that can go wrong during the process that ruin the whole cast, whether it be moisture, improper sprue or vent placement, metal cooling too quickly, you get the gist. In this video though, we'll be using a slightly different technique to replicate metal objects. It's a method I've been trying to perfect and it involves cold casting metal powder and using a binder to hold the powder together. We'll be using a mold that was made using silicone, but really any mold can be used. 3D printed resin molds, for example. The part is then placed in a freezer to solidify its shape. The next step is centering, in which the piece is placed in an electric kiln to fuse the metal together. This causes some shrinkage, but can be accounted for in your mold by sizing it accordingly for the material. While in the kiln, a few key processes occur. First, the binder is burnt off and the piece remains supported by the ballast. Next, over the course of several hours, the temperature is ramped up just below the metal's melting point to cause the powder to fuse. A major benefit of this approach is safety since there's no risk of spilling molten metal and every step needing human interaction is done at or near room temperature. Another benefit is that the mold is 100% reusable and takes almost zero skill to produce. To recap, what you're seeing now is by no means a total success, but for me, it's a major milestone to get an actual metal part at the end with even a small amount of details preserved. Overall, I think this method has a lot of potential due to its low cost, quicker turnaround than traditional casting, and the fact that it doesn't require near as much equipment. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Cheers!